Possums are the main source of bovine tuberculosis in farmed cattle and deer herds in New Zealand. Around 70% of new herd infections in at-risk areas are due to contact with TB-infected wild animals. TB possums found 67. They'd identified that TB possums were the cause of TB in cattle by about 71. And they'd started doing possum control in 72. Everyone said it was pus on pasture. Right, the TB possums with big open lesions. And then one morning I was on a cyanide line. It was a frosty morning, there was frost over the possums. And I came across a TB possum, it, was, it turned out to be TB, and it had a big lick up it. And I thought, hello, I wonder whether it's really got to be that close contact. I actually visited Ireland and saw a guy had a badger, a stuffed badger in the back of his car. And I said, oh, what do you use that for? He said, I'll put it out and the cat will come up all around it. And I thought, yeah, that's interesting. So when I came back, I talked to Professor Roger Morris at Massey and I said, oh, why don't you try doing some of this stuff and seeing how cattle and, and uh, deer react to these sort of animals. So they sedated possums, put out in front of cattle and deer, and lo and behold, cattle came up and muzzled them and licked them. Deer were really actually quite aggressive. They, they bit the possum, they threw it up in the air, they stood on it whereas sheep and horses skirted round it. They didn't approach it. It didn't matter how much we tested the stock on the farm, we were getting reinfected from the bush. It wasn't until Roger Morris actually videoed it on his, in his experiment to work in the wire wrapper, he could actually show people on a really good taken it right video about how the possums moved more and more slowly, went less and less distant from their from their dens and their nests and their whatever and their lairs and, and, and how they and how they were picked up by the tamest herd of the cattle in the herd. The trial work that that team that Roger was using at Castle Point, um, um, we had pretty intensive brake feeding systems for our replacement cattle and our trading cattle. And so the analogy that he described to me was we must have had an infected possum that was wandering through cattle that are under intense pressure and so that's why that you know that 30 percent of that particular cohort group got um, got infected. Even if you depopulate a farm and the possums are still in the back or still around the area um, you bring another herd and a clean herd in uh, to that area you'll probably get TB again. I don't think that it's that the possums um, in our area especially are totally clean and I think that we definitely still need those controls to keep the possum numbers down, get rid of them if possible, but keep them down so that because they are the cause of most of TB around here. We really relate possum TB yeah. when, you're, when you're from Rupehu. Around 40% of New Zealand is identified as being at high risk of TB infection. Controlling the disease in wildlife is crucial to protecting farmed cattle and deer. The, the TB herds went up in direct relationship to the funding, the herds went like that as the funding went like that. I, I hadn't seen a possum on our farm now or heard one around the borders for probably 10 years. Yeah, which is really pleasing. Yeah, and I would hate to see that stop. To break the cycle of uh, infection, uh, once you started your vector control, you couldn't stop. You can't ever take the foot off the throttle, never, no. They did that back in, what, 1980 or so, um, and we know what happened. So your vector control is absolute must. Whoever's carrying the TB needs to be eliminated from the picture, whether it's the, the cattle that have got it, the deer that have got it, and the possums that have got it. And the dearest possum we get's gonna be the last one. Mm. But <laughs> um, that I, we must maintain our vigilance. Eradicating bovine tuberculosis from both livestock and wildlife carriers is the only way we can protect New Zealand's reputation for high quality meat and dairy produce and guarantee continued access to high value overseas markets. The TB Free New Zealand program managed by the Animal Health Board aims to eradicate TB from 2.5 million hectares by 2026, reducing the current area identified as having TB-infected wild animals by a quarter.